How is it going everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm hunting nickels. Let's get right into it guys. But first, before we get into it, I want to show you these half dollars I found in a box uh, yesterday. Didn't find any silver, so didn't make a video. First, I found this 1987 NIFC. This is only like the fourth one I found. Pretty cool. Then this one. Let me tell you a story about this one. My brother wrote on this. There are his initials. Um, that was about a month ago or something. He was writing on them. I remember watching him. And then I find this in a box of half dollars. And I'm like, wait, is this is this the one he, he wrote on? And I'm like, let me go ask him. I go ask him. He's like, yes, that is one of them. So that was pretty cool. It made its way back home. That's cool. Just thought I'd hang on to that. So let's get into this half, or uh, excuse me, nickel box. Let's open it up, see if we got any enders. Oh. Get right into it. Buffalo would be awesome. And I don't think I see anything. They are circulated, so that's good. So let's get right into it, and I'll bring you in if I find something cool. All right, everybody. Rule number three: we have uh, our third find, find of the box. Actually, we have rule uh, 1940. It is a Philly. And then that is the third because before that I did find a 1947 Philly. And then same role as this 1940, 1993 Canadian. Alright, on to the next roll. Hey, 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 look what we got here. Focus. We got an old Canadian. Finally. 1941 and it's dark. 1941, King George the Sixth, awesome. Guys, man, unfortunately I did not catch it live. I should have filmed it anyway. I got this, I had a discolored edge. Oh my, look out. And man, it is silver. Oh, I'm happy I got the silver, but I'm disappointed I did not catch it live. That would have been awesome. But it is a 43p. We'll check it for the double double die. Can't do it here, but that's awesome. We got silver in the box. We have a ton of rolls to go through yet. I gotta finish up this one. Let's see what else we can find. Alright, everybody, a few rolls later you can see where I am in the box. Behind this one I did I saw the date. It is. Let's pull it out here. We can get it to focus. There we go. 1940. Denver. Sorry, I'm shaking. All right, and then long few rolls before. Found this 1953. Philly. Okay. So I just cracked open another roll. We are almost halfway through this box. And I got this one. It is. It was an ender. Come on, focus. There we go. It was an ender face or uh, reverse up. You can kind of see the ring of death on it. So it was an ender, and it is a 1955 Denver Denver ender. Anyway, that is number. That is the second 50s, and we have three 40s. Let's keep looking, guys. Right, so we got an off-colored one right here. I'm gonna pull it live just in case it is silver. Let's see what it is. It is silver. Oh my goodness. Yes, I pulled live silver right there. We got live. It is a Philly Mint, I believe. Yes, it is. Philly Mint. See the year? 1945. Awesome. Second silver wartime nickel of the box. Anything 1942. To 1945 is going to be 35% silver, but not all of the thir of the 42s are silver. Only half of the year they made them in silver. So that is the second one. We'll place that right there. The other one, and I did find in the roll before we found this 1954 S Mint Mark San Francisco. We'll place that right there. We are almost halfway through this box. Let's keep going. 
All right, everybody, I just reached a little bit over halfway in the box. Open this roll, and out comes a 1948. There we go. There's a Philly. We'll set that right over there. I same roll. Okay, it was the coin right here. I'll have to look back at the, the video and see. And see. Um, I flipped this one over, and it's a 1939. I don't know if it has a mint mark. Let's see. Hopefully it does. Uh, it does not. Unfortunately. It dropped it. But it is still an awesome find. And we'll set it over there. Being the oldest coin of the day. Alright everybody. Just found another 50's coin. Where'd it go? Right here. Let's see if we can get this to focus. There we go. 1957 Denver. Put that right there as the youngest coin of the... Well, actually, no, we have some Canadians that are younger. But we have this older looking back. So I decided to just save it and see what it is. We'll see if we can flip it over live. Reveal the date here. Let's see in 3, 2, 1. It is another 57. Alright. We'll keep hunting. Guys, we got a buffalo! Oh my goodness, it scared me again. Every time I get a buffalo or a silver, it scares me. It's the good kind of scare though. It was literally like, it was like in here. And I pull the one, the, the coin away. There it is. Oh my. Hopefully there's a date in here. No mint mark, so it is a Philly mint. Pretty nice condition, let's see the date. It is 1927. Unbelievable. That's awesome. Incredible. Oh my, this is so awesome, guys. Let's just set it down here and look at it for a little bit. Oh my, that is incredible. A buffalo. Unbelievable. Let's see, we have about 17 rolls left. Hopefully we have something else good in here, but this has been an incredible box. Let's see what else we got. No way. Look, I'm right here in this box. Guys, I just dumped this roll out. And I seen this. Another buffalo. And I was like, wait, what? I look over here. There's my 1927. I'm like, another one. No way. Let's get this to focus here. I don't think there's a date on this one, unfortunately. Let's focus on it. There we go. You can faintly make out something. I'll have to look off camera. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let's see the back. If the back has the raised mound, it might. It, it, it possibly could be a 1913 if it has the raised mound. It does not. And it does not have a mint mark. So it is a Philly mint. I'm going to take a quick look at it and see if I can get a date off of it. Unfortunately, guys, I cannot make a date off of it. Um... So, still, that is an awesome... Oop. Oh, oh, I just dropped it. Anyway, that's an awesome find. We got that many rolls to go. Let's see what else we got. Alright, guys. A few rolls after that awesome buffalo. We got this 19... Oh, using my left hand. 1940. Philly. And then I got these other three finds I did not show. We have a 1959 Denver. 59 Philly. And in 1946, that is Philly as well. So that's four more finds. Let's see what else we got. We got 11 rolls left. All right, everybody. Last coin of this roll. I got another find. If it will focus. There we go. We have a 1953 Denver. And then over here, we had a 1941. 41 Philly. And then my brother came in, he wanted to open a roll, so he got a 1951 Philly out of his roll. Got, and I want to do a quick shout out to him. Guys, if you haven't checked out his channel, Nate Gate, please check out his channel. Um, he just, he does coin roll hunting um, once in a while, so make sure you go check that out, guys. Nate Gate, check him out, he's pretty awesome, give him some love, and I'm on to the next roll. 
All right, everybody. Got through that box of nickels. It was awesome. I did find a few more common 40s and 50s, so I didn't bother to record those separately. And So here I'm going to do a quick wrap-up of the finds of the box. Let's see. First off, we have a 1939 Philly second year Jefferson. We have two 1940 Philadelphias, 140 Denver, a 51, or excuse me, a 41 Philly, 46 Philly, uh, a 46 Philly, uh, let's see, is that a 47 Philly, and then a 48 Philly. Sorry, the lighting in here is pretty bad. Uh, we have four Canadians for the box, a 93, 94, 87, and a 41 King George the Sixth. That's pretty awesome. For the 50s, we have a 50. I have them kind of uh, lined up in PDNS order. So here we have two 1951 Phillies, a 51 Denver, a 53 Philly, 53 Denver, and 53 San Francisco. That's pretty cool. We got one of each. Here we have a 1955 Denver, and then down here we have a 54 San Francisco, two 57 Denvers, a 59 Philly, and two 59 Denvers. And then I did find this in a roll. It's weird. It looks kind of old, but we'll never know the date because it's it's gone. It's you can see nineteen. Wait, there might it might be seventy. Yeah, it might be seventy. Seventy something. But I just thought that was cool. I won't keep it, but I just thought I'd set it aside. Now the four kings, the four finds of the box. Two awesome silver wartime nickels. A 1945 Philadelphia. And a 1943 Philadelphia as well. That's awesome. Then we got my first ever herd. This is amazing. First off, first Buffalo is a 1927 Philly. That's awesome. I keep saying awesome. Then we have this dateless one. And I said my brother came in and did a roll. And he thought he seen 1918. But I honestly don't see a thing. I don't know. It is a Philly as well. My first ever herd. My first ever buffalo herd. That's awesome, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so, so much for watching. I appreciate it. Every time I see views on my video, I get excited because I'm just so happy. Thank you guys so much. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure you click that bell so you are notified when I upload another video. Again, guys, I want to mention Nate Gate. Please check out his channel. He's awesome. Make sure you give him some likes and subscribe. Make sure you drop a comment down below. I always love reading your comments. Again, thank you so much for watching. And as always, happy hunting. And I'll see you next time.